And this is just a quick little video of the fact that this thing right here shows 11 watts and one hour and 28 minutes remaining. So normally I would just see one hour, 28 minutes remaining and try to figure out in my head if that's fast or if that's slow. But here I can tell that it's going at 11 watts and this is capable of 30 watts. So I'm not using the most ideal input into this battery. Oh, what's going on YouTube? This is What Would Josh Do? And this is gonna be a video on an accessory. This is from a company called Charger Lab. If you are aware, I have made videos that have included their products many, many times, including one with a built-in reader at the end of a cable, which is really cool because sometimes when you have a thick case, readers like this just won't like get in there all the way. So you need to use the other guy, which is a cable. So you plug this into your charger, wall charger, power bank, whatever. And then you've got a screen here in the middle and then you plug that in your phone. This is gonna be something similar to that, but it's going to attach at the end of a cable and it's gonna be simpler, meaning everything's on one screen and it's gonna be significantly cheaper than this guy. It's not gonna do nearly as much either. So here we have it, Charger Lab Power Z. This is the C240. It's capable of doing zero to 50 volts at zero to six amps. There are times where I love just connecting a cable that has a tiny little screen at the end of it. Like this guy right here. It's got a little screen and you plug it in. There are times I like seeing just how many watts I'm using. And then there's times I like seeing how many volts and amps I'm using. Am I using five volts and three amps to get 15 watts? Or am I using 10 volts and 1.5 amps to get 15 watts? You know, it's just cool to know exactly what's going on with your charger. So we have some information here. You can subscribe to their YouTube channel where they have lots of great videos, such as uh, iPhone 15 Pro Max testing as far as what charger charges it the fastest. And then in here we have the, <laughs> which is packaged so nicely. I love that. There's like nothing that's gonna happen to this in transport. So this guy's super freaking simple compared to this guy. With this guy, you've got the extra port so you can plug into a computer and log a bunch of data and update the firmware on this, which I actually recently just updated the firmware on this because mine had the alpha launch firmware. This is just straight up, plug it into the bottom of your phone, plug your cable in here and uh, see what you're charging at. It looks so nice and professional compared to the other things that I have, like this guy. This is something that I use quite frequently and uh, it's, it's a whole lot nicer. It's more compact and it's a more high quality design and you're gonna get to see what the screen looks like. So let's connect it to our power bank here, connect up a USB-C cable, and then we're gonna plug in our tablet here and look at all that freaking data. That's what you wanna see. So here we can see that we're using 17.6 watts and it's achieving that by using 15 volts and 1.1 amps, almost 1.2 amps. We have a little green arrow that shows that the power is going this way. So if we were unsure as to whether the power was going into the power bank or to the device we're trying to charge, you can just look at the arrow and you can see the little watt hours is currently going up, which is really freaking neat. It's nice that it shows you that. And what about when you wanna rotate? Okay, so it stays just one angle. There isn't a way to flip it around. With this little guy, you hold this down and it flips the screen so you can see different ways. With this charger, you're limited to looking at it upside down or flipping the whole thing over to seeing it the correct way. Now, pay attention to the information. 15 volts, 1.2 amps, 18 watts. Let's do this. Let's just unplug this, plug in this guy. And this guy has a rotating screen, so the, it's going that way, it's going that way, it goes that way, or it goes that way. So any way you need to look at it, it rotates accordingly. We're getting uh, about the same data here, 1.1 amps at 15 volts. So we're getting about the same information. But with this guy, you have to flip through different screens to see other information. What I like about this one is it shows you the protocol so we're seeing that 35 watts is gonna be the maximum. Sometimes it depends on the cable too. This cable's only rated at 60 watts. And if we try to charge something, we can only hit the cable's top speed, which I will show that in just a second. 
So I did charge up this phone earlier. Let's see how friendly it is with cases. Oh, nice. This UAG case for my 15 Pro Max fits in there perfect. Very nice. Let's plug this in. And we get some very nice data. This phone is this phone is currently at 80%, so it's not going to charge very fast. Well, look at that. We saw 20 watts there. That's pretty good. So if your phone battery is almost dead, you're going to get your fastest charge speed possible. Once it gets up into the higher, you know, like 80% range, then it's just going to slow down and charge at a much slower rate. So unfortunately, this phone is not more dead than it currently is to show you that data. But there you go. You can see the watt hours. So... It's going up pretty quickly because it's charging at 12 watts, which isn't bad. All of my phones... Oh, let's try this case. Oh, look at that. That is nice. Nice and flush. Charging rapidly. We're getting 8.8 .8 volts, 1.3 amps, which equals 11.4 watts. And then there's your watt hour counting up. This little guy is freaking sick. I love it. Also, this is pretty freaking cool. So I'm going to plug in this wall outlet. I'm going to plug this in. And then with the mag safe, the phone is currently charging. We can see more data as to what that charge speeds are. So we can see that it's wireless charging at a slow rate because the battery is above 80% and it's not going to charge it very fast at all. I did post a YouTube short of this uh, charging at 11 watts earlier when the battery was much lower, but this is data we would not know otherwise, which is great. All right, so earlier I said something about the cable, right? So if we plug this in, the little arrow is now pointing to the left. With this cable, we're only getting 50 watts and something about that just isn't right. Well, that's because we're using a cable that's only capable of doing 60 watts. Let's change this up. This is Anchor's 140 watt cable. So we're gonna use this guy and plug up the charger and you're gonna see some different information hopefully. All right, check that out. That's sick, love it, love it. So we're getting 120 watts, which is 27 and a half volts at 4.37 amps, which equals 121 watts. That's awesome, and that number is going up fast because it's charging fast. That's awesome. So the benefit of using the more expensive charger is I'm gonna show you the data that you're gonna get with just this cable. So as you can see, it says 60 watts. That's the maximum this cable can do. That's all, that's it, that's all you're gonna get. Now if we only just change out the cable and we connect this, we're gonna see that number change, or we should. Sometimes it requires an unplug. Let's unplug it, wait for it to power down, try it again. There we go. We see PD 3.1 EPR. So now it knows that it's charging at a very fast rate, getting 27.8 volts, 4.6 amps, 129 watts. I'm having an issue with this power bank, so I need to return it to Anchor. And how do I know that it's giving me an issue? Because it just stays at 5 volts and 0.2 amps for 1.2 watts. How would I know that data otherwise without something like this? I've left this overnight for two days and it only charges at about one watt. Something is wrong with this power bank. So if I wanna charge up my phone, I can keep this little guy with me and I can see just how efficient my battery bank is. Meaning I'm relying on my phone saying charging rapidly. I'm relying on my phone just saying charging. I'm relying on my phone saying charging slowly. It's gonna be one of those three things. But charging rapidly can mean 10 watts versus 25 watts. Let's see. It says charging rapidly, but it's only going at five and a half watts right now. And then it picked up to 10. But what I'm trying to get to is this is data you would not know unless you had a tester like this. And this thing being $29 at the time of filming, that is not a bad deal for something that gives you this much information. And it's all color. It looks really nice. It's a very nice design. And it's very well packaged. I can plug up this phone. The little light turned white. Phone's now wireless charging. And now we're not left to guess how fast we're wireless charging. We know that we're currently charging at almost 5 watts. And that number is rising. So 6. And then 7. 
Anyways, this is a very neat tester. I absolutely love the compact design. The display looks amazing. There's so much data on it. It's all on one screen. I do wish it either had a rotate button or could rotate. I don't like that I'm going to have to just have it sitting like this sometimes and look at it upside down. See if we can tell we're charging at 12 watts right now. See this guy right here? If you're looking at it this way, that's cool. But if you're looking at it this way, you can just double press this button and it flips the screen around. But look how basic that is. I mean, to be honest with you, at the end of the day, that's the data I'm looking for. The volts, the amps, and the watts, and the direction it's traveling. So this guy's still pretty cool. But this is like a cheap plastic. This is a... Man, this just... Ah! Oh. This just screams quality. I love it. I'm going to have a link to this in the description below if you want to check it out for yourself. If you enjoyed the video, please leave it a rating. Please follow me on Twitter and Instagram if you're not doing so already. This is What Would Josh Do? And I'm out.